Hi, I'm Captain Cool, Mask Line's reefer specialist. During the next few minutes, I will take you through the key features and functionalities of a reefer container and the most common mistakes which are made when working with it. Before we begin, let me just explain why reefer knowledge is valuable knowledge. The reefer business is one of the fastest growing areas in the shipping industry and Maersk Line is currently the market leader. Oh, and it's a $4 billion business. So you can imagine that it's an important area for us and our customers. So let's get on with it. This is a standard Maersk Line reefer container. On the front of the reefer, two of the most important components are the cooling engine and, of course, the power cable. Air inside the reefer unit is circulated by two fans and is pushed downwards. The air then passes underneath the baffle plate and enters the actual container space via the T-bar floor, from where it passes around the cargo, enabling the products to maintain a steady temperature. Afterwards, air is pushed by propellers through the cooling engine once again, and the process repeats, so that air is continually circulated through the container. Some respiring commodities, such as fruits and plants, need additional fresh air. But for most other commodities, reusing the inner air is enough. So, as you can imagine, proper airflow is really, really important. If air cannot circulate properly, the reefer unit cannot maintain a steady temperature, resulting in, you guessed it, less fresh cargo. To avoid this, each reefer has red load lines at ceiling and door end. These should always be respected since air can only circulate freely through the container if the customer stuffs within the load lines. Customers must also cover the entire container floor with cargo or other objects. This supports even airflow through the container, and if it isn't done, the cooler air will only reach some of the cargo, and very little will pass through the boxes as intended. As a result, some cargo is cooled, and other cargo will go... In addition to temperature control, air exchange and air circulation, there is another factor to be very aware of when handling a reefer. Water, moisture and condensation inside the container. This can damage the cargo in different ways. For instance, with mold, harmful bacteria and weakened packaging material. To avoid this, Maersk Line always ensures that a reefer is clean, dry and in good condition when it is issued to a customer. Customers should also ensure that the reefer is completely dry and clean before using it. And the same goes for pallets. Further, it is important that the container is not pre-cooled. If it is, the cold air will meet the warmer ambient air when the container doors are open, and condensation will quickly build up. In case a reefer does contain moisture or condensation, the evaporator will remove it. However, this uses energy which reduces the overall cooling capacity. So, the lesson is, the drier the container, the better the cooling capacity, and ultimately, the freshest cargo delivery. Well, that's all for now. But if you want to know more about reefers, just take a look at our website, where you'll find all the information that you need.